Okay. And that is going. Let's give this a shot. Hopefully. Oops. Let's go ahead and hit that. I can see that off the reflection. Ow. Welcome back, everyone, to more fun and games. This time, I'm going to be doing something a little different. Gonna be playing a different kind of game. Konami. Just gonna hit the start button. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. This is what I've been wanting to do for a while. New game. This is a game based on a card game, but it's a little different. Tactical card battling. And essentially, I don't want to be here for you know, 50 years, so I'm going to speed through a lot of the text based cutscene. Essentially, if you are a historical kind of person, history buff, or anything like that, you might get something a little extra out of this. Because if you know anything about the War of the Roses, which is British history, a piece of British history, then, uh, yeah, this will make a little more sense. Okay. We're going to name ourselves. You. Tube. And yeah, and the naming, well, I keep hitting the button here. Uh, War of the Roses was something between the Yorks and the Lancasters. If you want to know more about that, read a book. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, essentially you for the sake of this game, you are the catalyst that uh, makes one, si one side or the other win. The War of the Roses. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna speak through a lot. And depending on what name you actually put in, which is different any time, you'll get the choice of one of three decks to start. There's Robotic Knight, which I have used before. It is a really good deck to use. You have Fairy King Truesdale, which is not the best of decks, but it's usable. And then there's Illusionary Gentleman, which we're going to take. Which, I don't think I've actually used it... I think there's like uh, I think there's 12 or 13 different deck leaders that you can end up with depending on what name you choose at the beginning of the game and they all specialize in different things and as you play the game you unlock more cards more stuff and you can pretty much customize it to whatever you want. I just remembered... Oops. Volume would be nice. So, turn that down. That still seems loud. There we go. I just remembered to turn the music on. <laughs> I had to mute it because of uh, something that happened. Uh, one thing I need to do actually is pull that up. There we go. I had to do a little 
little something computer wise. Yeah, there's a lot of text in this game. If I had actually, you know, done this at the reasonable pace. Okay, and now you get one of two choices. You can decide with the Yorkists or the Lancaster Lancastrians. What I actually recommend for someone playing this for the first time, go with the Yorks. Because if you can't pick the other one, the game is a little more difficult to learn on. That still seems loud to me. But yeah. If I can get through the rest of this text, I could actually get into explaining there. You start out with a map. And for those who've watched my videos before and noticed the weird... It's something weird with my TV. I don't know how to fix it, so... Okay, what you want to do is go here to deck. And... I'll have to... This is your deck, this is your stash. Pretty much you'll have every card. Uh, you can hit R2 and L2 to sort through different types. Uh, oh, there we go. If you hit the right stick, you can enter password mode, which does not work like if you put in any card, card Tongue tied. If you put in any code off the card, the actual card game, they are not going to work. But. Oops, wrong way. But there is one card for anyone who's new to the game or. Oops. That, uh someone who wants to just learn this game this car you know this code is something that I actually do recommend you get five three two nine seven five three four which gives you mirror wall there are other codes and cards you can get but this is one that I recommend for first timers and people who just want to learn the game. We're going to pop that out. Illusionist, bleh, illusionist faceless mage. You're not really going to need. And you'll actually need the debt cost. That's a very high debt cost card, so. And that one is too, which you can't really do anything about. But what this is going to do is going to make your life a hell of a lot easier playing this game. You can actually hit triangle while you're here in the menus, and you can actually look at the 3D models of whatever card you have. Monster cards. Does not do that for magic or traps. But okay. I'm kind of trying to speed this along because uh, I want to at least get one episode into this before save yes save complete okay now here we go you're going to be starting off with Taya if you pick the other side you'll get two choices which are very difficult and I'll get to at some point because once you beat the game once you can go back and play through the game and do the other side Okay, so here's your deck leader. You'll hit a square. Ooh, and I got mirror wall first turn. That actually works out really good for me. So defense mode, start. 
turn based, you have 99 turns to uh, reduce their life points to zero. I'm gonna play Yami. Actually, we're gonna do this. Play in the middle of the field, which the thing about Taya is she has a lot of fa ugh, fairy cards. So this is gonna actually work out in our benefit. Check, check. It's kind of like playing chess in a way. So, and I need to get a monster card out before he gets to me. Uh, we're actually gonna do that. Check, check. You can move your cards around as much as you like, but uh, it's essentially I like playing very defensively. So, just in card games in general. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Here we go. Defense mode, attack mode. Mirror wall there at the back. Move him up in the middle. And here we go. Okay. Close that out. I don't need that anymore. I had a code written down so uh, I could remember mirror wall. And this is what mirror wall does it'll cut anything that attacks you, their attack power, in half. And if you want to, you can actually watch 3D battle scenes of this. I don't think I'm going to show a lot of these because that would make these videos extremely long. But just to show off some of them, I'm uh, actually going to show Uh, eh, decent handful at least to uh, let you get to see some of them. Let's go with a zombie. Mare zombie. Leave that there. Am I gonna beat this this quickly? I didn't even think about that. You can hit the circle button, skip. 1750. No, I'm not gonna beat it. Or maybe, yeah, I did. Wow. Well, that was anticlimactic. I had hoped to make this video longer. But essentially, when you beat someone, you end up with the roulette wheel. Dancing elf, silver bow, false trap. If you actually get three of the same card, in the slot machine, you'll get a bonus special card. So, and you beat Taya. I hope that would go a lot, go longer because I wanted to explain things, but I guess, uh, yeah. Next is Tristan. You can actually go back to your deck. Actually, look at the cards you unlocked. That's a quick card, that's a monster, and that's a trap. And doing the three the roulette wheel where you get three of the same thing is the only way you can actually get certain cards in this game. So, there is that little factor. Um, going to look through my deck real quick. Which was that dude? Uh, zombie. Uh, I might ditch that. Actually, double, 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 double. Um, I don't have a lot. short handful that that thing we can get rid of. Stick Dancing Elf. 
stuff in. Female cards are really good to have, just in general, because they combo with a lot of things. That's why I did what I just did. Elves and females. Okay, so... No, not... Dang it. Back right back out. And actually, that Taya battle, battle is very difficult. That's why I encourage you to use a uh, mirror wall. Let's see. Yeah, I can still play him. Okay, start. We're going to save there. Save complete. And that is going to be it for now. Next time, in the next episode of Not Dragon Ball Z, we're going to move on and play the next duelist and maybe I'll get time to actually explain more about this game. So, until next time, peace out everybody.